Hey guys, happy President's Day 2022. I know it's been a while since I posted, um, but here I am up on uh, going up Epic Pass, beautiful uh, snow capped mountains. Uh, there's a little stream down there, sun's going down, so I better hurry. But I just felt uh, inspired to make a video because I know it's been too long uh, and I have a bunch of updates. So I thought I could give you uh, some of those right now. Um, yeah, I, I've, I've taken E-Assist hand cycling from Epic to <laughs> fucking unbelievable, man. Um, and uh, I, I built another hand cycle. It, I'm riding it right now. It's uh, this all wheel drive beast. As you can see here, I built a nice little Woo! Toy, baby! <laughs> that literally can accelerate uphill faster than I could ever accelerate down a hill. It's pretty insane. Um, and I'll, I'll definitely give you lots of updates about that. And uh, yeah, I'm sorry I didn't post for a while. I, uh, dealing with a bunch of stuff. I actually was on disability for a bit. Uh, my, my shoulder arthritis got pretty bad. Uh, just a bad shoulder injury I had when I was 20 years old doing some stupid stuff. Uh, decided to take some time off of work. I, I was able to uh, uh, find a really good physical therapist, actually two good physical therapists, acupuncturist. I started a great program, uh, one actually based around hand cycling. Uh, so this DSS hand cycling is a huge cornerstone of my physical therapy program. Uh, what I do is uh, instead of doing the full range of motion, I focus just on the pull motion, which is literally identical to the rowing motion that they were telling me to do in physical therapy. And the big benefit of it being in a hand cycle is instead of it being just like an exercise that you, you know, it's boring exercise that you kind of, you know, labor through every, every other day or whatever. This is something that's a lot of fun and something that you could do for an extended period of time, not just a little five, 10 minute exercise at home. Uh, I go on, you know, hour plus bike rides and all I do is focus on the pull motion. Um, I use my throttle to start always, so I don't have to worry about uh, having to push hard at all. And you know, if I want to take a break, I'm biking with my son or my wife, I'll just use my throttle. I'll just literally just like now, I can just press it. I'm going uphill right now. I hit the throttle and I'm just accelerating. Ah, whatever. You know, enjoying the nature, enjoying the ride, enjoying the wind going through my hair. Um, my unfortunately graying hair. <laughs> so there are other things that, uh, you know, cause a little bit of stress, you know, with kids, you know, three teenagers at home. Um, so while, you know, I probably should have posted something earlier, I do have some excuses and uh, I hope to post more. Um, actually, I have some updates, so I thought I'd go through those now. So I, I built my first hand cycle with uh, front wheel drive motor, um, but that had some big drawbacks. Uh, for one, if you're going down a hill and you have a catastrophic flat, how do you stop? If you're riding rims on road, it's not gonna have a lot of traction, and that was a big safety issue. Uh, problem number two is I was hoping to get on fire roads. And the problem with front wheel drive is as you start going up a steeper and steeper incline, you lose traction in the front, less and less weight in the front. You lose more and more traction and you end up just slipping out and you can't get up any hill. Well, with this new design, I put a custom bracket, as you can see here, I designed that custom bracket and uh, that allowed me to uh, attach disc brakes as well as the torque arm for the motor on the rear wheel. And that has been a complete game changer because now I not only have one motor, I have two motors, one on each wheel in the back, and then I power my front wheel with my hand crank. So I essentially have an all wheel drive hand cycle. One that I've been able to take up just the most epic rides on fire roads, trails. I went on some super sketchy stuff I probably shouldn't have. Um, but I did, and I'm still here to tell, tell about it. Um, so I'm, I'm fully back on the horse, baby. I mean, I'm, I'm back out there doing half stupid shit. Um, uh, but you know, I don't know, it's baked into who I am. And, uh, um, uh, I'm, I'm being responsible where I can. Um, uh, but you know, I'm, I'm just 
you know, enjoying nature to the, the its full potential. I'm I'm out off the 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 paved road, where you know, oops. So uh, my phone just died or died yesterday. Uh, I had to go home and charge it up, and uh, now I'm back out here. It's a lot colder, so I have my turtleneck. Sorry about that, but let me just continue where I left off. Um, where was I talking about? I think uh, doing stupid things. Well. Uh, you know, look at me yesterday up on a deserted road and uh, dead phone. So probably not the best thing to be in <laughs> when you can't walk your way out of there and have no phone to contact people. So, uh, you know, once again, kind of uh, pushing the envelope. But, uh, you know, that's 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 honestly where you get the biggest smiles. And, and I'm I'm back to smiling again today out here. Uh, fully charged phone this time. So uh, lesson learned always, you know, fail successfully. Um, and uh yeah i just wanted to finish the video um so as i was saying you know the all-wheel drive hand cycle has has really changed my life um it's it's now a cornerstone of my physical therapy program for my shoulder um and and you know just as you know uh losing your ability to to walk is is just you know the beginning of, of this journey you, you end up having nerve pain and, and shoulder pain i now have wrist pain too uh carpal tunnel syndrome in, in both wrists um, but nonetheless, I, I can, you know, I can get out here because I've modified my hand cycle in such a way that allows me to overcome my disability and overcome uh, the adversities that have, life has given me. Um, I have a thumb throttle that allows me to, you know, get up any hill, start from any place, um, and uh, basically allow the the ride to accommodate, you know, however I'm feeling. If my shoulder is hurting more. I, I won't I won't pull as hard. I'll just let the battery do most of the work. You know, 90% of the work if necessary. Um, if my shoulder is getting tired, I'll just use a throttle and I'll just go for 15 minutes and give it a little bit of a break. Um, it's really adaptive. And and you know, if I'm feeling great, I mean, I could actually turn on regen braking and 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 pedal down the street, my flat neighborhood, and be exhausted after five blocks because I'm actually charging the battery. So. So really, it's 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 uh, it's a bike that you could adjust from from um, and and you know speaking of which, um, I, I'm actually building a new bike. Uh, this one is going to be customized for quadriplegics or users with uh, uh, weak hand strength. And uh, so even if you don't have enough strength to press the throttle with your thumb, uh, we're going to design. Or, or I, I've talked to a fellow in, in Berkeley who can design uh, or has designed. A throttle that's activated by pushing back with your helmet. Um, so we're going to build a bike that can accommodate users that have, you know, very little to no hand strength, um, maybe no triceps. Um, but you know, we're going to get them out here. We're actually starting this program, AbleBody.org, uh, with partnership with NorCal SCI, where we're going to be offering, or are offering today actually, lessons for free to the SCI community. Uh, so if you're interested in that, you should actually check us out at ablebodied.org. That's uh, A-B-L-E-B-O-D-I-E-D.org. Uh, you could book a free lesson. We'll take you out. Uh, right now, I give lessons on the original bike I built, the front-wheel drive bike. As soon as we have the, the, the quadriplegic customized bike, it's also going to be all-wheel drive. I'll be able to offer lessons on fire roads because we'll have two all-wheel drive bikes, and the bike will obviously be you know, fully capable of being used by a paraplegic as well. Um, so, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna you know keep building bikes and, and modifying them and and hopefully figuring out a way to get anybody and everybody out there to enjoy this this beautiful world that we live in. Um, so, I uh, I'll try to get better at you know updating videos. Uh, again, check out AbleBody.org. It's it's hopefully going to become a great resource for anybody interested in electric assist uh, hand cycling uh, even if you don't live in the area we'll make sure to put links and maybe even blogs and just instructions on on how one might go about uh building this bike we just have to figure out exactly how uh to best do it in a way that uh, doesn't expose us uh at all legally because the last thing i want to do is get sued for you know uh helping others out but uh uh we're we're working through it um uh uh, you know, I, I should thank my, my great partners at NorCal SCI who have uh, been very supportive and, and, and really enabled this, this program. So, uh, so yeah, let's, uh, let's work on this together and, and hopefully I'll see you out here and uh, you'll have a smile as big as mine because it's uh, <laughs> just too good to be true, baby.
all right.